Okay. Idea day, idea day. So first off, good afternoon Philadelphia Eagles fans and NFL fans. If you just decided to pop on into the channel, I appreciate it. Because I, I do have a couple fans that are from other teams and they just like watching, which is cool. I appreciate that. Um, I got an idea. But first off, yeah, we just beat the Giants. Uh, I'll do my analysis another time, my hype video another time. And yes, I'm wearing blue underneath this green. But for a reason... Trust the process. I support all my teams, my Philadelphia teams. Uh, but the Philadelphia Eagles are my top team. Actually, right now, I think it goes the Eagles, then Sixers, then the Union. I actually go to a lot of Philadelphia Union games. Um, Phillies, Flyers, Soul, Wings. Yeah. Yes, I actually go to all these stinking games and watch them on TV. I'll do this another time. Um, but that being said, I have an idea. I appreciate all the people that come to this channel. Um, I love the engagement of people. And then, not just even of this channel, but when we go to the stadiums. And, and I'm going to the game this week too, I already bought my tickets. But I want to uh, elevate uh, what I offer here at this channel. And I want to invest back into fans of this channel and of my Philadelphia Eagles. And so I was trying to think, what could be done uh, so I can invest back in you guys, the guys, the people that invest your time in watching my channel and my content. So I'm like, okay, I can run some kind of cool contest. And then how do I pair that with things that I actually believe in or I do or how I kind of work? Now, I love football. Let me give you a quick explanation. I love football, everything about it. Um, players on all the different teams, and I like to see the development. I like to see schemes and what works, and, and essentially come up with reasons in my head. I believe my Eagles are in a good trajectory, and what it takes to get there. But I don't play fantasy football like at all, because I'm this kind of fan where I never want to have any kind of excuse whatsoever to root against either my Philadelphia Eagles or anything that's against the best interests of the team, like like seeding or getting into the playoffs or whatever it might be. So I don't play fantasy football. I would probably kill it at it. I, I think I'd do pretty well in it, but I don't play fantasy football for that reason. And I've always wondered if there would be a way to develop some kind of game or, or contest or so that was just team specific, where in my case, being an Eagles fan, I could go against other Eagles fans in a good positive way that we both still want our team to win and benefit no matter what happens and still compete and have a fun time in the process. All right, so I came up with this idea and I kind of want to invest in it. Oh, the other part too. Uh, I also wanted to be possible. I've been getting contacted from people in other countries now. You know, people from Germany, people from the UK recently, thank you very much by the way, uh, people from all over the place. And I also want to see what can I do to support not just people in the Philadelphia region that are their Eagles fans. I mean, I was stationed all over this world while I was in the United States Navy and I saw Eagles fans even when I was stationed out in San Diego. They have their own specific bar out there. Um, when I was, you know, overseas in Japan and, and oh, we love Philadelphia Eagle, huh? I'm like, okay. Um, you know, and I got friends all over this place. I got friends, shoot, in Pensacola, Florida. <laughs> I have friends all over the place um, that are Eagles fans. How can we keep them engaged on the team and give them a shot to, you know, benefit from a kind of cool contest like this? So here's the deal. Here's the contest. <clears throat> this week against Seattle, playoff game, 2019, wild card weekend here in Philly. I want people to comment below who they think the top receiver is going to be for our Philadelphia Eagles this week. Now, when I say top receiver, if you look onto the website, right, after the game, like I do, like right after I get done even watching the game, which is kind of wacky in itself. Let me put this in here real quick. If you look at the receivers for this last week, you would think that Boston Scott was our top receiver because they purely go off of yards. He had four receptions, 84 yards, no touchdowns. There's three people with four receptions, but only one person had a touchdown, and you would think, you know, shouldn't touchdowns be worth something a little bit more than just a regular reception? 
Um, but also, shouldn't the number of receptions mean something along with the yards you get? Because it also shows that you're really engaged in the game. So, yeah, there are three people with th three receptions, but Greg Ward even had six receptions and only 43 yards. So what I'm going to do to determine who the top receiver is, I'm going to say that every reception is worth 25 points. Every touchdown is worth 50 points. And every yard is one for one. So 84 yards, 84 points. 65 yards, 65 points. With that kind of math, the top receiver for this week would have been Joshua Perkins. He had four receptions, 50 yards, one touchdown. The four receptions would have yielded 100 points, 25 points each. Yards, another 50 points, and a touchdown. That's 200 points total. The second place person would have been Greg Ward. Even though on this list, he's actually down. He had other people that actually had positive yards. Um, he was the last. He was like the fifth receiver. But he had six receptions and 43 yards, zero touchdowns. That would have yielded 193 points. Which means if Josh Perkins didn't get that touchdown, and let's just say Boston Scott ran it in for his fourth touchdown of the game, right, rushing-wise, then your winner would have been Greg Ward Jr., even though he's down on this list. But his productivity and what he did to help out the team seems like it's potentially more, it seems like it's a lot more reliable. But also notice, running backs, tight ends, and wide receivers can be on this list. And I think due to the dynamic of all the injuries and stuff that we've had, um, I think it's harder to guess. It would have been easier maybe earlier in the season, just say either Zach Ertz, Dallas Goddard, um, Alshon Jeffrey, those are more popular names, Deshaun Jackson week one. But now, with all the injuries that you have, you kind of don't know who we're going to throw it to. So I think that's kind of cool. And during the tiebreakers, when you put in the comments, the tiebreaker is going to be in this order. First, I want you to guess the person that you think is going to be the top receiver, then how many touchdowns they're going to have, then how many receptions they're going to have, and then how many yards. That's what I'm going to use as my filter for uh, who I'm going to choose as the top winner. And that top winner then is going to get $50 from me in Eagles credit, merchandise, whatever it might be. Now, I'm going to work out this side. This is not perfect. I get it. I'm more than willing to personally mail the winner um, either a gift card from the Philadelphia Eagles or like, you know, cool scarves and hats or jackets, whatever it might be. I will work out that side. I'm actually going to go to the stadium and try to talk to somebody about this. Yes, I am that nuts. I want to invest into my fans of my city and my team. Um, I will work out the side. I actually think it would be a smart thing to have an Eagles ID from the Philadelphia Eagles that I can just personally uh, fund and then you can do whatever the heck you want to do with it, like buy merchandise or have that um, be something you use to, in order to buy tickets, I think that would be really, really cool. And I want to springboard this idea of an individual fantasy football kind of prize thing here. And this is where it's going to birth. And I'm willing to put my money where the mouth is and invest in the best sports team fan base I believe in the entire world, the Philadelphia Eagles. So I'm looking forward to that. So, uh, pass this along. Uh, the comments will... I'll know who commented after the game started, or I'll shut it down uh, when the game starts. But I'll be in the stadium, so I'll pick a time beforehand. But I'm looking forward to doing this uh, for this game and hopefully for the rest of the games in the playoffs if we keep winning. And then if this is successful enough, I'm looking to do this for the 2020 season. And if I have this be something fun that we can all get engaged on our Philadelphia Eagles and have this be another way to create... Uh, an awesome Philadelphia Eagles family. Thanks for tuning in as always and looking forward to hearing your guys' responses. And if you have any ideas uh, on how you would think it could be made better, feel free to comment below. Have a great day and go birds.